Hi Erwan for Motion VFX. In this video, we will see how to create a nice opener for a vlog with great effects. But first, let's see the project. Cool. As you've just seen, this opener has a great color grading, title animations, transition, and zoom-in effects. All these effects were done with Motion VFX plugin. But the great news is that all the plugins used in this project are free. You may not know, but there are many free plugins available on the Motion VFX website. Let's see how to get free plugins. Here we are on the Motion VFX website. First, you need to create an account and download Mnstero application. Mnstero is a great application that will manage all the plugins and templates, very easy to use and very powerful. Now I can go to the plugin page. It will list all the plugins available and there are many. As you can see, when a plugin is free, there is an indication, so it's very easy to see which plugins are free. And Motion VFX gives the same level of attention than the paid plugin, with dedicated pages, trailer and tutorials. But how to display only the free plugins? Here a tip. On the right side of the search bar, there is a filter button. If you click on it, you can select keywords to filter the research. I will click on free, and now I've got only the free plugins on the page. So I can see free plugins, but also demo version and free content for MO2. For this project, I've used MLight Diffuse, MBehavior Basic, M Vertigo, M Transition Luma, and the MLAT plugin. Let's go back to Final Cut Pro 10 and see them in action. Here my project. First, I need to do some color correction to the shots. I will add a 3D LUT to get the look I want. Of course, by default, in Final Cut Pro 10, you can add 3D LUT directly inside the inspector. But here, I will use the MLAT plugin as it will offer me many more advantages and speed up my workflow. So to access to MLUT plugin, I will open the filters library and apply MLUT to my clip. One of the biggest advantages with MLUT plugin is that the fact that you can create your own LUT library with free and paid LUTs, and you don't have to navigate anymore between all your folders on your computer. With MLUT plugin comes five free 3D LUTs. For this shot, I will add the dramatic 3D LUT. The second advantage with the MLUT plugin is that you have a wide range of parameters to adjust the final look. You can adjust the levels, the contrast, the hue, the saturation, and you can even add grain. Here I will adjust the levels in the highlights and the shadows. I will go to the second shot and add another 3D LUT. I will add the Cold War LUT. The next clip is from the same shooting, with the same camera and the same light. As MLUT is an effect, I can copy it quickly and paste it to this clip. So I will copy it by pressing Command C, and I will paste it by pressing Shift Command V. Meaning, I won't copy the clip, but only the attributes. I've got a floating window, and I will select which attributes I would like to paste. I will select MLUT and click on OK. I can check if it's OK, and I may need to readjust the shadows, like this. Okay, perfect. The look is great, but I would like to add a dreamy softer look. I will need to diffuse more the light. To do this effect, I will use the MLight Diffuse plugin, which is also totally free. MLight Diffuse is also available in the filters library, where you can have access to six presets. I can preview the result by just clicking on the clip and roll over the various presets, like this. For this shot, I will use the preset number 2. I 
As you can see inside the inspector, there are many parameters that you can adjust, like the diffuse control, smooth, blur, and color. But also, you can add some noise or grain, adjust the footage levels, and add some reflection effect. Let's adjust some parameters to have a great look. I've used a lot the M-Light Diffuse effect inside this project. Like in this shot to create some flare effect with a reflection parameter. Here another example with horizontal light rays. Very easy to do by adjusting the vertical blur to zero. As you can see, M-Light Diffuse is a very powerful tool to create great lighting effect. And again, it is free. Let's add a title to the project. First, I will create a basic title by pressing Ctrl T. I will quickly modify the text and add some nice font. I would like to add a nice and smooth animation with MBehavior Basic, which is a free set of animations. You will be able to animate any element without any keyframe. There are 100 animations available. It's working like an adjustment layer. So just place an animation on the top of the element you want to animate. Here, my text. Then, you can see that everything below the effect will be affected by the animation. To resolve this issue, as I want only the text affected by the animation, you just have to select the text and the animation and create a carbon clip. And now, I've got only the text animated. Another free plugin I've used in this project is mVertigo. And Vertigo can reproduce Dolly Zoom effects, and it is available in the titles library. There are four presets, Zoom In and Zoom Out, with or without animation out. I've used it on this shot to create a smooth zoom out effect. In the viewer, you can select and position the target. In the inspector, you will have more parameters to play with, like the distortion. Of course, depending on your shot, you can go crazy with the distortion effect if you want. To conclude, let's talk about transition. M Transition Luma is a free transition which creates a nice Luma dissolve. Is available in the transition library, of course. I will use it here to create a nice transition between the man and the woman. So I will apply the transition to the cut. In the inspector, you can select if you start the dissolve inside the highlights or the shadows. Then you can adjust the smoothness of the effect. M Transition Luma offers also four different effects, Pixelate, Sweep, Half Tone, and Crystallize that will completely change the look of the transition. As you just seen with this project, you can power up your project for free with Motion VFX plugins. So don't hesitate to go to the Motion VFX website, create an account and download all the free content. Also for free, 
there is a tons of tutorials available on the Motion BFX YouTube channels, so don't forget to subscribe to the channel to learn more tips and tricks. Thanks for watching. Ciao ciao. Bye bye.